What's happening, Virgo? This is Tanya Lee of Harmonia, and welcome to your timeless love reading. If you are new to this channel and you feel guided, go ahead and hit subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell twice. This way you get the notifications of when I go live. Um, also, you'll notice on the bottom here where it says harmoniafriends.com. Would love to see you as a member of my website. Uh, if you become a member, a paid member, you get exclusive content to all of my daily content Monday through Friday. Friday, uh, and uh, exclusive content, meeting my medium, <clears throat> my mediumship and tarot galleries, as long uh, and also my meditation library too. So you get unlimited access to all of my timeless check-ins, um, and that you can peruse at your at your own time, right? Using your intuition there, but it's also a good place to get discounts with me because. Um, all of my services are discounted for all of my members in a huge way because I know people in that area are serious about taking stock of their life, uh, becoming leaders in their life, um, and taking back their power. And um, as someone who's very passionate about that, uh, those may be tools for you to empower yourself with. So if that's something that resonates, go check it out. All right. So this reading, guys, uh, Virgo, is going to be a love reading. It's timeless. So if you feel guided to listen to this, this message may be for you. All right. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Do not force everything to fit. Um, and uh, just pay attention more to the storylines, to the storylines and the characters that come in place. Um, to give you that guidance. Okay. Now this is also for people who have a specific person on their mind, Virgo. So if you are looking for, if you're single and you're looking for new love, go check out my singles playlist. Okay. Um, or my timeless tune ins for those, because this is for someone specifically on your mind. All right. Let's see what the energy is here for Virgo calling in our guides, our ancestors and our ascendant master spirit. What is going on in love for Virgo? What is going up with this connection? Uh, what's this connection all about? Here we go. Virgo. Well, this has to do with commitment, being committed. The next step now doesn't mean marriage. Uh, but we do have wedding rings here, so it is a promise of some sort. Um, this has to do with a commitment uh, to individuals coming together. There's a change, too. It's a five, so it is a transformation here. Uh, it can go so many different ways, so let's see what your energy is. How is Virgo feeling? How is Virgo feeling? Letting go evolving well something's changing <laughs> why do i feel like i have a virgo here who had to let something go uh expectations uh let things transform because this is about something transforming um flying learning lessons this is a, this is this is the final stage of letting go. Interesting. What's on your person side? Hmm. Why do I feel like you're glowing up here? Complicated. I knew it. I knew it. I was hoping it wasn't going to go this way for my Virgos. <clears throat> Someone here is still reflecting hardcore in this relationship. Okay. I do feel like this is a relationship. What you, you did Virgo leave. All right. Um, how it was left off was complicated. You did not have a firm closure in this connection. Okay. For sure. All right. You were either married to this individual committed in a long-term relationship with this individual lived with this individual committed. All right. But there was something here about how you feel is that you had to let go to fully transition, to fully transform. This was incubated to go nowhere. Um, it was almost like you had to set free. Um, you had to see your worth and that this person came into your life to show you that, to allow you to have that lesson. Look at this. It's a 22 and we have a two, 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 man. This is, this was definitely a divine partnership here. You two are definitely have a divine soul connection. Um, this was set up, may, maybe even have many lives with this individual past lives. All right. And really massive connection. Um, 
Do they still feel a pull towards you? Yeah. But I think how they feel is something here was left unfinished. Unfinished business, Virgo. Um, unfinished business. You know what? It's so funny because I see waterfalls here and there's some, and they keep playing the song. Um, God, what is it? I'm not going to start singing. Don't worry. I won't do that to you guys. But um, I think it's TLC. Don't don't go chasing waterfalls. I feel like you went and you chased this person. And uh, it was the biggest lesson that you learned about chasing, right? Like, <laughs> I was like, I should just enjoy that waterfall, not just chase it. Um, hmm. Let's see how you feel. You've moved on. You've left. Um, it is, it is not a foundation you're building upon anymore. You're not, you're not putting anything into this. Uh, some of you, a city has to do, you know, very, I don't know if you guys met in the city. I don't know if you are somewhere in the suburbs now or something far away, but I feel like you're at a distance from this individual. I do. Um, there's, there was a difference in environment here massively. Okay. Um, that three of wands is usually being able to take actions to set to build that foundation is like, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to build it. I'm going to um, really know that what's going to come my way is for me, but there's something about, I know that this connection wasn't for me and that's why I had to move away. Ooh, I really think some of you guys moved a physical location here, maybe at a state, at a new country here, because I feel like the opportunity here is that they are so far away from you now in distance. Um, you physically moved from this individual, moved out, you moved away. Um, some of you went to entirely different terrain here. Okay. I'm seeing like from city to mountain. So that may be important to some of you, but I just feel this level of how you feel is that the opportunity here was not um, a stable one. Uh, there was no growth here. It almost feels like you guys had a false start. It's like as soon as you got started, as soon as it failed. Um, but there was a big commitment here. Um, it was a big move to be committed to this individual, but I don't feel like this person, well, we'll see. I don't feel this energy of them fully being in it. Um, let's see how they feel about you. <laughs> well, they're bitter as fuck. Um, there was something about this person that was very unhappy with this next level. Maybe you guys started off as friends. Um, but there's something in regards to a time constraint or they weren't ready to fully commit even though you were committed. Even though you lived with each other. Even though you were a, a couple. Um, but with the two of swords reversed, uh, there's a lot of arrogance here. Okay. I feel like this person self, uh, deceived themselves. Okay. The two of swords here with the five of swords here. Um, there's something about you having to let go because it, their, their actions were not lining up to their words. I think you were pretty, I think that you were just like, I'm not, I'm done. I'm packing up my shit. I'm done. I'm not doing this. I feel like you left saying that this is, this is what I was going to, I'm going to do. I'm leaving regardless. Right. I, I'm, you're not going to leave me waiting. You're not going to leave me hanging on until you're ready. Uh, there's something here where this time limit wasn't a time limit for them, but they took it that way. They did. Cause I feel the five of swords here really brutally smacked their ego. They were like, well, why did you put me on such a short leash? Why did you put me on such a time timeline? But the timeline really was for you. You were getting dissatisfied. All right. Um, some of you took on a new job or a new, like you, you did this move because you're, this was going nowhere. All right. They left you on the crossroads, but this person may feel a little bit abandoned by you have a little bit of like, 
well, you didn't even fight for this relationship, but I feel like this person's idea of time and what was stated and what actions came in place. I don't think they expected you to just get up and go. Hmm. It's a little bit narcissistic. So it's almost like, here's a good example here for you, Virgo. Someone says, I'm not ready that you're in a commitment and they go, I'm not ready for the next step. I'm not ready to be married at this X, Y, and Z time. Right. And it was almost like, okay, thanks for letting me know. Uh, you're not ready. And like, you took that, what they said word, word like you believe their words, because I think you chased this person for quite some time and you just believed them. And there's something about them wanting you to fight for them because they were so used to you chasing. So I feel this energy of, uh, a little bit of arrogance here, feeling deceived. Like, I think projecting a little bit. <laughs> and the star uh, means the tower moments already happened. Um, the star energy is very healing, having faith. Um, being vulnerable. Uh, now this person may just, I think what's bothering them is that you're doing well without them. Um, I think they wanted you to hurt a little bit about this. Okay. Yeah. Seven of pentacles. I think they're at a distance here and they, they wish to work with you, but I think the working part here too, is the chasing. I think they miss the chase. I do. I think this person misses the chase here. Yeah. Nine of cups. Um, that's the chase energy that I feel, uh, even though your wish fulfillment, this person, their wish was to put the work in, but they didn't actually do it. All right. They weren't ready, but now it's like, well, if they just gave me the right amount of time, well, you know, that feels very strung along. And these, these pentacles are all on strings. And I feel that you felt strung along and you're like, listen, no, if they're not going to put the work on there, I'm going to be vulnerable to what I deserve. And I feel like you are getting glow up by doing this. I do. I feel like you are getting a lot of attention. I feel like you have new opportunities. I feel you may even have a new connection here. All right. Um, but you got someone here who you believed what they said and they're like hurt that you didn't chase them more. <laughs> That's like typical, right? Ay, ay, ay. I'm going to keep these cards out because I feel like I'm talking to a Virgo here who's on the precipice. And if you're not feeling this, you really are doing well. All right. You are this person's wish fulfillment. But the thing is, is they don't even know how to come back and you may not even be looking back. I think you're doing well. I feel, I feel like you got a lot of different options and some of you may be in a new commitment here, but let's see, let's see what the before Taros is the outcome cards here. Okay. Remember I don't do reversals with the before deck page of wands here, son, you took the bull by the horns. You took a new beginning. You were like, okay, thank you. Um, thanks for the lessons, but I can't just sit here and wait for my life to begin or expect this commitment to go any further here. Okay. This individual put themselves in a suspension in that hangman energy here. Uh, they're not enlightened with the fact that they, I think what's freaking them out is that you just moved on and they were hoping that you would wait for this individual. And now they're looking at it going, it's been so much time yeah, so much time and, and how much you've grown and how cold you've gotten to even coming back to this. And I do feel Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy of you being more committed of knowing your worth, your value. And now you're dissatisfied. You're like, no, 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 no. I have the pick of the litter now. I have options now. Um, you know, if if you didn't want that, I, I know that you know, there is someone out there that does want the same thing as me and is ready. Right. But this individual, what they're hung up on is the burden of trying to, they haven't left emotions of 
loving you, this person's loving was based on conditions and it was their conditions and they're not viewing it that way. They're not enlightened by that. This person is like, if your name would come up or if someone would say, well, how do you feel about Virgo? So-and-so they would say, eh, it was complicated. Like they would literally say that because I feel this person has mixed emotions about seeing you move on. So fucking happy without them. And a part of them misses you doting over them. And is like, why are you know, like, how do I, how do I drop this to say that? Listen, I, I do. It's not that I don't love you or have feelings. I just wasn't ready at the time. And this person's like, well, now I don't think they'll ever be ready. No, they, they're afraid that you wouldn't even give them the time of the day. If they were to tap you on the shoulder, if you were to say hello to them, but are they manifesting it? They are. Are they doing anything? No, this person's not there yet. Um, but I also see you not bothered by this either. Okay. I do feel you got some new, new perspectives here, a glow up going on here. Some of you are manifesting new love. Some of you are already met that person and it's like, no. Yeah. Look, death, you, you have a chapter here, a new beginning Scorpio energy to you. This is over. You've created your own closure. You do have an individual here who's suffering by their own, by their own heads, not you, but they're suffering because of, of not realizing that this is over. This is not something that you can revisit. Uh, it won't be the same. Um, it just won't. All right. Let's see what the final message here is for Virgo. What's the final healing message in love for you, Virgo? Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. Here's the thing this person totally dis disregarded your strength. Um, and it's blowing their mind right now. And I feel like this individual may have been a little bit jealous or insecure when it comes to uh, their worth. And you're just reflecting that on them because I feel and they compare how you're doing to how they're doing and they're not doing so great. They're constantly in their head about this. They're thinking about this a lot. And when your name comes up, it's always, it's complicated. And I may have to just call that this. All right, guys. Uh, if this resonated with you, go ahead and hit like, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, like I said, would love to see you at Harmonia Friends. But if not, this is where we part ways. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.